What's up, church family? It's Eli, your favorite youth pastor here, coming at you with another week of video announcements. Um, and I am so excited to see you guys this Sunday. And speaking of this Sunday, remember, we're going to be at Crooked River Park. Um, we're going to be at Crooked River Park that morning. So there's a few things that you're going to want to remember to bring. One, bring a pop-up or some sort of shade, an umbrella, um, a small child that you can hold above your head, just something to provide you with a little bit of shade because it can get warm. Um, two, you're going to want a chair. Sometimes those silly Parks and Rec people, those silly Parks and Rec people accidentally leave the sprinklers on and the grass can be a little bit wet. So bring a little chair um, or a big chair, it just depends on your preference, um, preferably no recliners. Uh, but, you know, if you have just like a simple little chair, bring that because um, it's going to be a lot more comfortable than getting your bum wet on the grass. Um, if the lawn is dry, you could always bring a blanket um, and, you know, stick your kids on it. If it's a little wet, they're young enough that they won't even notice the difference. Um, so just remember those three things. Pop up um, a chair and a blanket. Um, also, we do ask, um, it's not required that you wear masks during the service because we're outside, um, as long as we're maintaining that six foot social distance. But if you do feel like going up and greeting someone, just do the common courtesy, put on a mask real quick, and go say hi to your friends. We're not saying you can't visit, we're just asking that when you do want to go kind of break that barrier, that you put on a mask and really just do your best to protect them and protect yourself. And speaking on Church in the Park, starting in September, we're going to go every other week we're going to do Church in the Park. Um, only it's not going to be at Crooked River Park, it's going to be at Pioneer Park. That's the one across the street from Tasty Treat. So, if you decide to go to those services, you could always, you know, go to church and then afterwards sneak away, grab a little ice cream cone or maybe a lunch, and come back to the park and just enjoy your time together as a church family, have a picnic, Maybe, you know, plan to have your friends there so that after church you guys can really just spend time um, visiting because I know that's something that we're not all getting to do right away, um, or at least just not right now. So those are going to start on the second, there's going to be the second and fourth Sunday of September. Um, the first Sunday we're going to be back in the church building, second Sunday we're going to be at Pioneer Park, third Sunday back in the church building for some Sunday at Pioneer Park. And once again, those are all gonna start at 9.30 as of right now. I don't think that's gonna change, um, but if it does, we'll be sure to let you know. Going back to this Sunday at Crooked River Park, we have a special speaker that's gonna be teaching to you out of Habakkuk. So if you guys are one of those people that like to, you know, maybe do a little pre-read, a little, um, you know, pre-study before church on Sunday, then go ahead and find your way through Habakkuk. Um, if you wanna know who the speaker is, you're gonna have to be there because it's a secret, and it's not me. Sorry, that wink was misleading. It's definitely not me. But it is someone awesome, and I'm really excited for you guys to hear what they have to say. So if you are um, going to be there Sunday, we encourage you to read through Habakkuk. Uh, but yeah, don't. If you can't, then you know there's not going to be a test, um, unless there is, in which case you would fail. But there shouldn't be. I, I don't think. I hope there's not a test. Anyway, um, aside from that, the only other announcement I have for you guys is youth group. Um, that's something that we've been doing consistently every week. It looks a little different right now, um, but really right now, the first week, uh, the first Tuesday of every month is a large group meeting. And we're doing that right now at Crooked River Park. Um, that actually could change this week because we were just out at Crooked River Park last night and the mosquitoes were super bad, like swarming you bad. Um, so... I'm probably going to change the location. So if you want to know the location for the future, uh, you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook or text me, call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Um, and I will let you know where it's going to be exactly this coming Tuesday because this coming Tuesday, the first Tuesday of September, and I can't believe summer's almost over. Um, so anyway, this Tuesday, uh, follow us on Instagram or Facebook, The Rising, and we'll be all... I'll kind of let you guys know exactly where, where uh, youth group is going to be this uh, coming Tuesday. But other than that, we've been meeting guys in one park and girls in another park. It's really allowing us uh, to spend time focusing on the specific genders because believe it or not, guys and girls are completely different and they want to talk about totally different things. So it's allowed us to separate the guys and the girls and be able to really dive deep with what each of them are dealing with. 
Um, and I'm not leading the girls group because I'm not a girl. Uh, so we have Hannah Dozier and Heidi uh, Merwin, and then we had Emma Faye while she was here. Rest in peace, Emma Faye. We're gonna miss you. Um, if you guys didn't know this, Emma left for college last week. Um, the phase dropped her off. So if you could just keep the phase and Emma uh, in your prayers as they are, you know, kind of dealing with the leaving of a loved one out of their, their family group, God, uh, family group. So uh, keep them in prayer. So youth group, we meet every Tuesday from 6 to 7.30. Um, and the guys are meeting right now at Crooked River Park. And the girls are meeting at Stryker Park. Stryker Park is the one that has the splash pad in it. So if you have a girl between sixth grade and being a senior in high school, and you're like, hey, I want them to get connected, then bring them to a small group uh, that takes place in Crooked River or takes place in Stryker Park. Um, yeah, I am looking forward to this Sunday. I'm excited to see you guys out there at Crooked River Park. Hopefully the sprinklers don't come on while... Um, <laughs> while uh, church is happening, and yeah, I'll see you then.